We're visiting every diner in Philadelphia. And we're doing it with transit! Miles and Jackson eating in diners Traveling on buses, trains and streamliners Jackson gets eggs, Miles gets French toast Come and see which eater either digging the most We got our friends joining in for the fun Keep in mind this is part number one on Miles in Transit So in this video, we're going to be visiting and reviewing every diner in Philadelphia. But Jackson, what's a diner? Miles, there's two schools of thought. Okay. The architectural definition is that a diner is built in a factory. It's a factory built building that is shipped to a site and then sells food or other stuff. Culinarily, a diner is anything you want it to be. It probably serves breakfast food, it might serve burgers or fries. You know it when you see it. In this video, we're using the architectural definition. We're going to every factory built diner in the city of Philadelphia. And that means that we're excluding certain places that call themselves diners but may not be factory built. We're talking like the South Street Diner. That place is incredible food. It falls outside the scope of this video. There are also some factory built diners that are no longer diners. All these buildings were originally diners at one stage in their lives and so are in the scope of this video. However, we won't be doing full reviews of any place that doesn't serve French toast and scrambled eggs because we have to compare apples to apples, or in this case, French toast to French toast. Think of it as a field guide to Philadelphia's diners. Using um, transit. We should note that we use the work of some previous diner enthusiasts to help make this video happen, including this book, Diners of Pennsylvania, by Brian Butko, Kevin Patrick, and Kyle Weaver. This book has a listing of diners in Philadelphia that we pretty much consider definitive. We also feature some old pictures from the pages of this book, and from its first edition, which came out in 1999. We also used a lot of information from this book by Richard Gutman, who is pretty much the father of diner architectural appreciation. Thank you to everyone who came before us for helping make this video happen. We got some acapella deviations. Oh yeah, like this one. Okay. Street. Wow, I've never been to this station before. It's Wait, are you, are you serious? I'm not you, serious. you actually, oh, okay. I've been for four years. Okay. There's a rat down there, but you're just gonna have to take Miles' word for it. There's a fox chase train in eight minutes at 30th. We can eight make it. We can make it. All right, what diner are we going to? We're going to the Quaker Diner. And our fox chase train leaves in like three minutes. In where? In Northern Philly. Oh. Alright, well they don't have a thing up. I think it's Fox Chase. Kind of like the present. Yeah, let's do it. If it's wrong, we'll just bail up Suburban, I guess. <laughs> Gotta get the secret seat. Secret seat. It's always very exhilarating for me to take a regional rail train from one end of the tunnel, other end of the tunnel. We're outside, we made it through the tunnel. Oh. Power of the center city commuter connection. Just some industry industry. Ooh, a bomber! Whoa. That sounds really weird, but that's what they call those trains. Top I 10 anime reveals of 2021. <laughs> Two. Off of the main line. Heck yeah. Now it's exclusively Fox Chase. This definitely looks like the sort of region of Philadelphia in which one would chase foxes. Thanks. Briars. Train, train, trains leave in the train. Train, train trains train, leave in the train. Trains, trains. Train. Train. Trains leaving the train. Train, the train's train. gone. Okay. What would you review this station out of 10 miles? Uh, quick five second review. Uh, ramp. Uh, seven out of 10. All right, well, I guess we'll go right, down go. the ramp. Yes, yeah. I think it's a very long ramp. Uh, should have taken the stairs. Nail and Liam. No one's gonna get that. Not all of these <laughs> no one's gonna, get that. gonna get that. I guess we're in a neighborhood called Burholm right now. According to the sign. Ooh, is that the diner? We found it, the Quacker Diner. This diner was built in 1939 by O'Mahony Diners of Hoboken or Bayonne. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Bayonne. Bayonne, New Jersey. It's kind of been remodeled since then, but I think something like inside it, yeah. is original, but we're gonna see okay. in a minute when we go inside. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. This is a really cool and homey place though. I really like this. Yeah, the aesthetic's really nice. Yeah. Wow, Miles, you got a whole ass loaf of bread there. This was 
four seventy five or something. What a bargain! So much. So Miles got eight pieces of French toast, and he's making some surprising progress right here. Let's see how this goes. I'm trying my best. I'm really, two about two left. Really hope I can do it. Miles is about to eat the last bite of eight slices of French toast. So Miles, how does it feel to have eaten eight slices of French toast? Disgusting. Not that the food's bad, I'm just so full. The real French toast was the friends we made along the way. You ready? Here we go. The last. It's the last piece. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> 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 So that was a Quaker Diner. I'm wow. so full. It's like two hours later and it's dark now. I'm so and full. Miles powered his way through eight slices of French so toast, full. which was a feat. For $4.75. Like yeah. what? Yeah. In what world is that economically yeah, right. sound? Exactly. I don't know. It's the prices at this place value. were great. We should yeah. know. The food was, I mean, it was nothing special, but it was perfectly it was serviceable diner, diner food. food. Yeah. Aesthetics were very nice. Yeah, right. The diner isn't that original, but they have kind of redone it in a very nice way. It's kind of sympathetic right. to the original intentions. Our waitress was delightful. Amazing, she yeah. She was a really cool person. Please. We took regional rail here, but there's there two buses. There's a ton of transit service. Two buses every 15 minutes, plus an additional yeah. two buses. What routes go by here? We got the 18, 18 67, 67 70, 24, and the 24. 70. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Our final support. rating for the Quaker Diner is <laughs> seven, 7 out, out of 10. ten. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll head home. We've decided to take the yeah. 18, which is the busiest bus route on SEPTA. It's an accordion bus. Yeah. Bam. Let's go. So I think this wraps up our first diner. You ready for the next one? Next diner. This is another diversion diner. It's yeah, we're headed to this place called the Chubby. Wait, this is, is the, first, this the first diversion diner. Oh, oh. What's the deal? Ah. what is this? This is an off. Yeah, this is insane. What, what the hell? McAllister <laughs> Street. Oh. Thumbs down. <laughs> Have we introduced you yet? Uh, Jeremy! Hi, I'm Jeremy! Anyway, you also might be wondering why we're in an industrial area? Don't worry about it, just keep watching. And stay this tuned! Will be revealed. That looks like a lovely playground it's that I would love to go to. Industrial ass daycare. So, first of all, what is PP -P and gas? <laughs> if you pay in cash, it's 99 cents, but if you pay in credit, it's 419. You Something better have be some broken. dollar bills. I'd also like to point out the incredible amenities SEPTA offers at its bus stops, like including like, authentic nothing. dirt. There's a bus way down. I'm so zoomed in that like the quality of the camera it's is gone, compromised. It's gone digital. Oh, what is oh. this? <laughs> Why? <laughs> You have a nice trunk line up there, but no, we gotta turn and like nearly oh, scrape this person's oh car. God. I'm glad you're recording because now you got that stupid separate turn. Oh, and look what we've oh, come Roosevelt to Miles. Oh, Roosevelt Boulevard. Everyone's favorite So right street. at the beginning of the video, we've already hit Miles' enemy. I think this might be the worst street in America. Yeah. Florida and whatever, like the Sun Belt, like they have those like awful like eight lane monstrosities. But I think like look at the just amount of vehicles. This video is like five different like separated pieces <laughs> of roadway. Thank you. And that is Rising Sun and Olney Loop, which is an old trolley loop. We're gonna go see if we can find any track remnants under a skim coat of asphalt. Oh, this could be where the rails were. Man, you guys are like archaeologists. If you don't get vaccinated, Greedy's gonna come and kill you in your sleep. Are you vaccinated yet, comma Miles and Transit viewers? Question mark. If it's not, Queenie's gonna come kill you in your sleep! Now we're getting on a, like a real powerhouse of a scepter route. This is a powerhouse. Route. And this it's a powerhouse of a vehicle too. An articulated bus. Oh, okay. We all picked different seats. Yeah. Well, I, I, thought Miles was gonna sit there. I sat here so he got a cool shot of you guys sitting. Oh, okay. Look, Miles, I... Oh, Miles nice shirt. Conrail shirt. Oh, oh. look, Miles, I'm, I'm chilling for carbonated beverage. Oh. Oh well, I'll have you both be. I'm shilling for nothing. This has been the <laughs> stripping part of the video. <laughs> Jackson, where's the diner? I can't find it. All right, so here's the chubby crab. Wow. Um, this Literally is a, right at the bus stop. This is a 1930s 
Homehoney Diner, the same make and model as the Quaker Diner, which was the last diner we went to in this video. Until a couple years ago, it had a stainless steel siding that was installed in the 50s. But now it's just all completely been covered over. It's like a seafood place. How much originality are we expecting in this place? I'm gonna Not say much. like 20%. I'll say 15%. I'm saying like 12%. Because we can definitely like, 5% right. is the difference <laughs> we'll be able to like quantify. I Oh boy, okay, they have like a ticket oh, system. I see booths. Okay, they huh. booths. Nice to go in. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't have to. <laughs> there were booths, that counts for something. Yeah. Why are the windows dotted? Oh, oh no. my god! <laughs> this is a true Miles <laughs> Transit crossover. Oh my god. This diner has Dots! Um, so we just realized that this place is actually no longer called the Chubby Crab. All of that, we're us <laughs> pointing at it going, this is the Chubby Crab. Just no, disregard it's that. It's the this shape. Is well, we're leaving the dot diner behind. That will go down in yeah. infamy. <laughs> but I'm Boy. pretty excited to get to the next, next diner. Buses, trains, street miners. It's a Saturday. 52 doesn't go to Gladwin on Saturdays. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Accessibility! Maybe she's feral. Are you a nice feral kitty? She is a nice girl. We haven't even announced what diner we're going yeah, to, right. we need to or who one you one are. Hi. Cat part two. Oh. All right. So much for. Okay. Is this a hearse? Is this, this a transit is. video or a zoo? Welcome to Miles Animal Channel. And there's a Septibus. Hey, it's right. transit. Right. We're staying on topic. <laughs> this is Alina. <laughs> so we are in Overbrook. This is a diner that has this really weird remodeling job with like a sidewalk to sky mansard roof. But apparently uh -huh. the food is really good. Oh, it's called the Ace Diner, by the way. When was it built? 19, early 1940s, probably. Ooh. So. Uh, well, um, I'll say in the title card, I guess. Yeah. Here is Septa's Overbrook facility. This is a very like former oriented diner because it's right here. Not small. I, I, was, I don't know. Yeah. The picture made it look good here. So this diner used to look like this in the 40s when it was built by Silk City from Patterson, New Jersey. It used to look really cool. And in the 90s it was remodeled in this kind of odd way. But if the food is really good, that's what matters, right? I mean... I hear it's kind of original inside. We're gonna have to see. Okay. <laughs> looks like we can't get myself. <laughs> In this, like, weird, like, this is primarily a breakfast place. It closes at 2 p.m. And true to that form, the menu is pretty much only breakfast items. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. But it's mostly original in here, which is actually really cool. Well, this is homemade bread. I'm really interested That's to see so, what this is. And is this like, probably yeah. homemade bread, too? We have a little syrup versus syrup, syrup. syrup dichotomy going on here. Syrup? Oh, how do you say it? Syrup. Syrup? syrup. Anyway, these two both got French syrup. toast. Oh good, I haven't had any yet. I'm bad, I'll bet it's good. All right. That was a smooth camera move. That was the Ace Diner in Overbrook. The food for diner food. The food was fantastic. Really good. Alina wasn't as convinced as we were, I, I and that's know. valid. They do yeah. make their own bread, and for what it's worth, yeah, this was the some bread good, was good. Oh, Jack is not toast. It was so I good. Outside, terrible. There is <laughs> <laughs> what were they? What were they thinking? Inside, they still had the original vaulted ceilings. That was pretty yeah. cool. So, not like a diner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Service was really good. We had a really cool conversation with our waitress about pierogies and transit accessibility. Yes. Very good. The G stops right here. The tens down there. The fifty twos down there, the 46s over there, all those are frequent routes. Yep. It's closed on Sundays. Yeah. And it closes at 2 p.m. <laughs> it's Both a of which are lunch questionable. Diner, but closed on Sunday, that's a big day. A big exactly. Day. That is the diner. But yeah. besides that, everything that matters was pretty much on point here. And we decide the score we're gonna give this place is are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Eight, Eight out, out of ten. ten. We're hustling. <laughs> We're hustling. I always that's like longer legs too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like going back a different way than how we came. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the John Lennon walk. John Lennon walk. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Walking to the 52. Hey, that's the bus we're getting on. Well. There it is. Well. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it stops too. Oh, it's so awful. We got the walk sign. It's just stopped there. Do we? What, what point do we run for it? It's gonna go right when we get there. What is it? Oh, the wheelchair! Oh, thank goodness! Thank goodness for accessibility, guys. I think there's a trolley coming, like, now. 
Ah. There goes our trolley. Goodbye. Okay, so there's the sign that says trolleys aren't diners. But actually, trolleys and diners both evolved from train cars, so genetically, trolleys are kind of similar to diners. So I take issue with that. And definitely, we'll be here for that. Ready? I'm at 8th Street. Jackson is coming from New Jersey. I'm gonna try to catch his Paco train here at 8th, just uh, to have some Paco in the video. Hello. Wow, that was some perfect timing. Paco should just take charge of like the entire, <laughs> like the like, <laughs> transit system. It's great. This car's really nice too. Like, oh, I know. The subway generally doesn't go that many places in Philadelphia, so it's nice to have like an additional <laughs> actual line that doesn't right. just go straight. Exactly. An actual... oh, here's 1560. We're going to Bob's Diner in Roxborough, so we're going to take a trip up to the very scenic northwest region of Philadelphia. Yes. It's kind of almost suburban. So we're gonna walk to Walnut and then right. and then get the map. The inbound nine is 22 minutes late. And honestly, it's not hard to see why because look at all this traffic. Yeah, there's a 5K like, today. Yeah. All the buses are detoured. So this is gonna be an adventure, you know? So we're just walking and, back down right. the route to get it from the first stop. Although, like, what the tricky part is, is it is 12.24 p.m. right now and yes. the diner closes at two. So we're hoping yeah. we're gonna make it in time to actually get a meal there. Seth is just like royally screwed up right now. There are two 21s in a row back there. This and is a Four. We were supposed to be on Broad. I know. Right it's now, over on we are 13th. on 13th and Walnut, which last time I checked <laughs> is not Broad Street. Yeah. So the question at hand right now is, is that our bus? So the nine on Sundays runs every 61, 61 minutes. minutes. Yeah. So the question is, if it's 40 minutes late, we'll just wait here for the next trip exactly. to be on time. So for do the we next have to trip. wait 21 more minutes? This was our nine. But it looks like they got mechanical problems. Okay, and how the video will work, when we get to the next <laughs> diner that we're doing, then it'll it'll be us referencing Bob's Diner from earlier in the video. So remember that we Remember that we did not get to Bob's Diner today, but yeah. we will. So the same day we'll show up later in the video. Bob's right. Diner will proceed now. Little Miss Jackson, no. And I'm right here. Hi, Jackson. Hi, Miles. Our bus exists. Wow, and it's in the snow. Last time we went to Bob, or tried to go to Bob, it all went wrong. So of course this time, we're deciding Septa, to complicate matters further by doing it in the snow and going to not only the hilliest part of the city, but indeed the only hilly part of the city. We're going to put Seth's test today and see how it performs. So we're taking the 32 bus, which for some reason comes down to Broad and Carpenter. Normally, during a yes. non-snow day, the other endpoint of this route is Ridge and Lyceum, the exact intersection that this diner is located at. However, they have extended it to Summit Loop for the winter, which I had to look up, okay? Summit Loop- I don't Loop know where Summit Loop is. Literally <laughs> is not on Google Maps. I was searching around. It's at Ridge and Summit. Okay. There's no route that terminates there. Um, except today. Except today. Wait, is this a, um, like a winter long thing or just like a winter this is just a, event? It's just a snow okay. like route thing. Don't be a great place with the ending right now. <laughs> We are on the 32 and everything's going smoothly so far. So yeah, we're just cruising yeah. up front. We are in the skyscraper laden part of JFK. This route is all over the place. We're gonna get a bunch of neighborhoods on this uh, yeah. tour. We're now in Fairmount and we're just kind of cruising around in Fairmount, which I love yeah. the neighborhood. Now we're crossing over a railroad track. This we is uncharted territory. Poplar Street territory. and Poplar Drive. What? Oh, that's the Coltrane house. Ooh, John Coltrane, famous. Yeah, wow. that's, uh, that's where that is. Uh, yeah, tenor sax. There's another 32 out there, and the drivers were just talking about what the detour is. It seems like SEPTA communicates the detour yeah. to his drivers about as well as it does to his passengers. Well, Seymour, I made it despite your direction. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. <laughs> <laughs> the last person on the bus just got off, so we have it to ourselves. Yes. We're on Henry Ave, which is really wild. It's like these kind of apartments just out in the middle of nowhere. It's really fancy all of a sudden. There's these beautiful houses and snow. Yeah, riding over the West right Oh, now. look at that. Look at that scenery. Wow. Sledding Hill. Sledding Hill. This is so gorgeous. I keep saying how gorgeous this is. But we're in the city of Philadelphia. It's so hard. This is still within the city limits. <laughs> 
Is it open? It's a nice looking diner. It says open. It's, it's says open. open. I think it's open. Yay! So this is Bob's Diner. It's a 1947 O'Mahony. It still looks pretty much the same now. They still got that original clock. It's looking in really good shape. Um, if you look in this old picture, you see that building behind there? That's the Lyceum, which is kind of like a boxing ring, wow. like town hall type thing. So that's gone. Yeah. But Bob's in but the Bob's middle of a cemetery. Is, right, there's a still cemetery here. Store. Close ceiling. All yeah, right, this is Bob's Diner. Ooh. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. Looking at the menu, menu, menu. This diner's in really good condition, actually. Yeah, this is incredible. This is, this is, so this is the real deal right here. Fine, we lead the world. They were the best dining, <laughs> dining car manufacturers, I guess. Wow. They're like top of the line. This is the food shot. This is the food shot. This is the food. Thank you. We have some thoughts about this place. First we of do. all, so normally this place closes at 2. Yes. Right now it is 1.37. You'll note that we're not in the diner. They informed us that this diner closed at 1 today because I assume the snow. Yeah. Um, they but there was, there was no yeah. signage. They didn't tell us. And so yeah. we were sitting there around like, you know, 1.30. We thought it was like within our rights to be there. Yeah. And they kind of kicked us out. One person not so politely, another person like kind of politely. And now I'm shivering. It's ruining the shot. It's really freaking cold yeah. out here. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. Woo! The food was pretty good. The like, food was good. Yeah, my eggs were like pretty creamy. They were. Uh, the French toast was really nice. Um, I would say the portions are not great. It was a little bit pricey. Pay. Yeah. This is a pretty like big intersection for transit. Right. Um, you got four routes. You got the nine, the 27, the 32. I'm just reading the sign. I should have memorized this. Nine, 27, 32, and 35. But the 35 is like a weird Manayung shuttle. The nine and 27 are like infrequent express routes to Center City, and the 32 is what we just took, and it's also yeah. infrequent. So you have right. four routes, none of which are particularly exactly good or frequent. So you kind of have to look at a schedule before coming here. Not to mention Bob closed it too anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. So like scheduling early. wise, it's kind of hard. Originally. This diner is oh, in man. perfect shape. So good. Right, it is in really good condition. It looks it's exactly the same as it did when it stepped out of the factory in 1947. So Overall, we have decided to score this diner a 6 out of 10. We originally gave Bob's a 7, and I think that was because we weighted the originality pretty high. It's one of the best looking diners in Philadelphia. But everything else is kind of mediocre. The transit access really isn't great. The place is kind of pricey and it still left a sour taste in our mouth that we got kicked out without any real signage or indication that they were closing early. So with that in mind, we decided to lower it one point to a six. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> we're about to get on this uh, 32 and we're gonna figure out if it's going to the summit loop. Oh, no, 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 we're not. It's going down like here. Oh, whoa! Oh. That's disappointing. Disappointment. We're gonna try to do the special winter only Oh, I guess it's not oh. winter anymore, is it? No, I guess oh. not. So we are going to Bryn Mawr from here. Yeah, because the next thing we're gonna do this afternoon is watch a movie about Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys. So we'll probably stop the segment once we get down there. But we figured we'd film this because it's kind of interesting going yeah, from right. because, uh, Roxborough to Bryn Mawr. You gotta take a pretty trip. convoluted route to get from here to there. Our 27 is coming. 27 is coming. Thank you. Ah, here we are, the Wissahickon Transfer Center. <laughs> As it says on the Google Maps. Check this so out. So we got these maps that are from 2008. The 61 used to go to Summit Loop, which is where the 32 was supposed to go. Yeah, right. So Today. Summit Loop used to be a thing. The bus is entering the loop, and the sun's out. We're on the 125 Express. We're gonna get off at Gulf Mills to get on the Norristown High Speed Line. The new mode not yet seen in this video. Two, three, four. You got me waiting for the bus in the snow. You're on a detour. Where am I supposed to go? Don't bring me down. No, 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 no. You're on a snow loop. What is the summit loop? Don't bring me down. We're going it. <laughs> we just finished that acapella and the train is coming! My hands are cold yeah. and as sensitive <laughs> work. Just as usual, gotta point out, best best train on SEPTA, best mode on SEPTA. Oh yeah, these seats are uh, It's been a while since I've been on this. These are some like school bus energy. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah, <sighs> Bryn Mawr. Just want to note that like it's been snowy and despite the s snow this... route confusion, SEPTA has performed <laughs> surprisingly well. We can like roast SEPTA with the best of them, but we should also acknowledge when they're doing something right. And today right. they were kind of like on point, so. Yeah. Well, they do better on the next diner. All right, <laughs> Ready to find so. out? Next, next diner. diner. Actually, the theater was closed yeah, the movie theater weather. was closed so because of, you know, all the, this. We wasted our time. We everything. wasted all our time. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So, so we're getting another mode in here. We're waiting for the 10, one of these bad boys. Yeah, 105. We'll go back to Philly. So, yeah. um, anyway, next diner. Next diner. Sandwich eatery, we're digging the mold. I guess I might as well film this. Is Jackson there? Is he on the bus? It's Alina. Oh, this is awful. Oh, hi. Oh. Um, what's the story here? Thanks to a conversation with a bunch of uh, diner fans on Facebook, I discovered this diner that we haven't visited yet. So it's now a Pakistani yeah. restaurant called Cabo Beach. It's been remodeled, so it's probably going to be subtle okay. that it was once a diner. Subtle enough, I think a lot of diner fans aren't aware of its existence. We're going to 42nd and Chestnut, and like we were gonna take the 30 as a joke, because this route's really dumb and it like takes forever to get <laughs> over there. But now that it's provincially raining, this is actually the only way to get directly from 30th to 42nd and Chestnut without having to walk. Well, so, how serendipitous. Jackson, you'll appreciate this. This is the only bus on SEPTA's network to serve the trolley portal. You took a really roundabout way to get to 40th from 30th. Oh, right. I got on the trolley to 30th here. <laughs> now? Yeah. Chestnut. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, the rain is pretty much, it's way less bad. Okay, so it's kind of bad. So it may not look like it from the outside, but this is a 1948 Paramount Diner, which is pretty spectacular when it was first built. It had some really cool like glass block windows on the corner, as you'll see. And then a couple years ago, the latest owners um, of Cabo Beach covered it over. Why me? Cool. At the diner, all right. Oh, cool. That's actually what's neat. Menu uh, shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. All right, these are Miles and Alina. They are wet. It's kind of been modified a little bit in here. Like, obviously, this is not the original flooring, but that roof is the very neat original shape from the 40s. I'm just impressed with how original this is, given that this was kind of a secret among diner enthusiasts. The food has arrived. What did you get? Don't put me on the spot. Okay. Jackson, what did you get? Don't put me on the spot. Okay. Miles, what did you get? Don't, Don't put, put me, me on, on the, the spot. spot. I got lamb chops. I got tandoori chicken. Got Russian chicken. This looks good, actually. These old, late 40s Paramount diners just to have these really cool corner booths. There would be like a, a glass block window and a little like curvy bench. And one on the end is still there. And that's where another one of the benches was. Oh. Now you can see the outline on the floor. All right, thoughts on Cabo Beach? It was too spicy for me. Yeah. But I'm also a limp. You get a lot of food for what you pay for. Yes, yeah, you do. Yes, I'm Honestly, taking some home. I thought it was good. It was People pretty good. were complaining about the yeah. service, which like it's kind of slow. You just got to give yourself time. Takeout. Yeah. We took a long bus ride here, and now we're walking home because it's like two blocks from Penn. Yeah, yeah. we actually went seven blocks in the wrong direction just to take a bus here. So now that we've done that. I think it's time for the next diner. Miles in There's a 23 coming. We're going to a diversion diner. Who are you? I'm Haley. I'm Helen. Who are you? I'm, I'm Carly. <laughs> I'm inclined to point out that we're in the weird suburban part of Philly. Rowdy Wilders. How are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. Some cool artwork in here. Uh, uh, almost, 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 almost. What are you doing? See that? That's an old white tower that's now a tire shop and now it's painted red and it's pretty cool. And I think, yeah. Broad and eerie, and Miles is eating a, a Korean pear as we speak. <laughs> here we go. All right, the pear's getting eaten. Here we go. They're so good. I'm being taken a photo of. What are you making, Helen? I'm making a daisy. Hold on. Oh my gosh, this daisy is heckin' picturesque. Thank you. We're in 
Wayne Junction. Oh. Which is, uh, I don't know if it qualifies as a junction. I think we've had a debate about this before. There's a, it's a railroad junction. It's a railroad There's where the uh, Chestnut Hill East line splits off. For every diner aficionado, is kind of a rite of passage to find your first diner that's kind of like up on blocks in a parking lot because that's like a really cool discovery. And we're about to check out one of those. Whoa! This is so cool. I, why is there an abandoned diner in the parking lot of Deke's Barbecue and Attic Brewing Company and the Bad Mother Shuckers food truck. <laughs> Miles, we don't want you to get demonetized now, do we? You just learned about that word and now you're using it to its full potential. So this is a 1950 Mountain View brand diner. Oh, this is a bad side. So this began as Egan's Diner in Waterbury, Connecticut. And then it was Mickey's Wyndham Diner in Willimantic, Connecticut. Ooh. And then it was Jonathan's Club Car Cafe. And so then, wait, this is in Connecticut? Yeah, so this started out in, in about 2017. There was a guy um, who previously owned a diner we're about to visit in Mount Airy. He wanted to expand, so he trucked this diner over here from Connecticut with plans to kind of open it up and kind of like help revive this Wayne Junction neighborhood. But I guess it never um, happened. So it never happened. There used to be a tarp on this thing, but over time it's kind of like... Well, no fallen off and blown away. Oh, that's so good for us. Just, it's just intact. There's like stuff in there. There's yeah. stools and credit cards and, and stuff. So if you like put this in a spot and like added, you know, landscaping, front steps, like mm. this could be like a restaurant ass restaurant. We're going from this diner to Deeks. We're gonna have lunch. Yeah. This isn't a diner, but the vibe in here is really cool. They have free popcorn. They have an old pinball machine. I mean, does this get the official Miles and Transit endorsement? No, because we have to get the food first. Oh. <laughs> menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. Even what though it's not a diner, that? Helen is currently taking the skin off her pear. Yes. Will she be able to do it in Let's one watch. go? Good job, Helen. You got most of the skin off. Yeah. Now here comes it the is in one piece. Part. Oh, all right. Am I filming? All right. I do not understand this. <laughs> I mean, it might be good. Miles is now going to eat this Asian pear skin <laughs> linearly. Good They're talking about K-pop, but we have left that previous Diversion Diner. We're now going to go to the next, next diner. diner. Buses, trains, Which is actually right Excuse now. Me. Hello? You were talking about K-pop! <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt the conversation. Alright, right, everyone <laughs> stop. We're going to do this again. Alright. Next diner! What? Buses, trains, The bus is finally coming! Thank you. Jackson, I don't see any diners. Miles, we have to walk. Walk! So there used to be a trolley loop, so the tracks would break off from the main tracks there. They went back behind this building around there. So do you see how the curve kind of cuts back here? Oh, and then there's the trolley exactly. track. Here's the track. They kind of like wow. came back out and like rejoined the main tracks. Is that a diner right there? And that is a diner you see. What? So this closed in the fall of 2019. And wow. I actually got up here and we ate here. There's a really closed. nice picture of us. There's a really nice picture of us. This one's way more graffitied, yeah. despite being behind a fence. This is the trolley car diner right here. This is what it was most recently. This is a 1952 Mountain View. The one we just saw was a 1950 Mountain View, but for oh. all intents and purposes, this is pretty much identical to the one we just saw. Did it used to be a sign? Or yeah, there used to be a neon sign up there oh. with, uh, wow. with an image of a flashing uh, trolley car. This diner was moved here in 2000. Before that, it was in um, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Dang. Wilkes-Barre? Where it was called the Palooka Diner. And I just want it on the record that according to my mom who lived through that era, Palooka was something you could call somebody in the 70s and it was kind of an insult. I just realized I have a picture of Palookas. <laughs> <laughs> here it is. What is it's right here. <laughs> oh, stop. It like, looks like there used to be a building at the back. Do you remember that, Haley? There used to be a building. Oh, that's where all that that's is from, that I guess. Yeah. See how there are rails? There used to be a PCC trolley on this mounting block or whatever it's called. Oh, 
that's it for Palookas or whatever no. this is. <laughs> Are you all ready for the next diner? Streamliners. All right, Jackson, tell me about Ooh. whatever so this is. So we're waiting for a 10 trolley and overbook <laughs> right now. And we happened upon this thing called Anna's Pizza, which as you can tell by the little flared roof line with the little spotlights mm. we got going on there, this used to be a diner. It was called wow. Overbook Diner. It was manufactured in 1954 by a company called Coleman. But I mean, now it's like not really original. It's There's probably not really No open. trespassing. Yeah, right. You don't we know what a, the lottery is. We got a payphone that's not a payphone. <laughs> you can um, see in here like the yeah. curve of the original Right, we got facade. like a little curved window going so on that's in there. kind of the most we <laughs> can see. Intellectually, we know that this used to be a diner, but there's not that much to really show for it. Next diner. Next diner. I thought I saw it, but maybe I don't. We're at 15. We're waiting for a yeah, train to Frankfurt. I, I introduced Paul. Well, I don't know. It's Selena. I don't remember if I, I'll we'll be, see if we use that other shot. When you say express, how express are you talking? This is not the express. The express will be introduced later. Oh, spoilers. Just so nice the thing about Garfield view. movies is that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just try to get a skyline view. Trying this to get is a, a vibe L, L shot. 69th Street train making all stops. 69th Street? It's gonna go bad. That sounds like the title of a family friendly movie. We're at Frankfurt Transportation Center. We're going to the Mayfair Diner in Northeast Philly. And we're about to ride a trolley that doesn't Plus. ride on tracks. Chocolate trolley. It's, but this is a very speaking. special chocolate trolley. The 66 line, kind of in Philadelphia, we're not, we're anywhere in Pennsylvania, whatever, is a unique line in America because it runs with four tracks on the globe. And um, it, uh, the middle tracks run express service at rush hour. Um, Ooh, so we're and we're going like to be riding the, the last wires. express trip of the day. We're going to be on the express yeah. wires and we'll hopefully pass another one. How I'm express not, are we talking? Like, I believe it skips it makes like three stops when the local would make like a ton. Uh, okay. that, that's okay. helpful, that's really helpful. But. As long as we get off at like, what's the street called? Block uh, Avenue. So for those who are unaware of trapless trolleys, we are attached to those wires. The line now has four tracks. We're in this one, the local's on that one. If we can pass a trolley in this video, I'm gonna freak out, okay? So just so you're aware. <laughs> I, I hope we don't pass a trolley. It's no longer says Express, it just says Go it Sixers. Says go the sixers. operator manually yeah. changed it to Go Sixers. There's in so, the middle of the so trip. So we just got off the SEPTA route, go Sixers. All right, can I rant for a sec? Because this is a transit channel. I'm allowed All right. to do a transit rant. Okay, exactly. go on, Ready? Go on. Ready? All right, that is so useless to have an express. We did not pass any buses. It's not scheduled. None of the expresses are scheduled to pass anyone. It's just like, you're just making the service way more complicated by adding variants. It's cool that like the PTC or whatever built four tracks, cool. but it's like, why would you even like bother running the expresses? It's like, I know you have the infrastructure, SEPTA, but like, it's just no point, okay? Like, it's just kind of silly, and I don't really think they need to have expresses anymore. So that's my take. I don't know, what do you guys, what's your guys' take on the 66 Express? It was a cool ride. So this is the uh, Mayfair Diner. This is a uh, 1954 O'Mahony diner that was made in, um, you can probably pan up now, Bayonne, New Jersey. And it's like the third diner at this site. Like they kept making bigger diners because they wanted like a big ass capacity and the diners they had before this weren't big enough. It says May Year Diner on this side. The other side. Mafarer. Hey guys, what kind of restaurant are we just walking through? Menu shot, menu shot, right now you're looking at the menu shot. So this is probably a spoiler, but this diner is owned by the same family that owns the Melrose, and this is the exact same menu as the Melrose. Wait, is it? With different clip art. Wait, it literally is the same menu. Oh my yeah. god. I was just currently getting a roundabout shot of the diner. I'll be your roundabout. The words It's the food shot. <laughs> You were the wild card this time. This is a tuna melt. Because you're not obligated to get the same food every time. Draw, draw. Draw, ooh, nice. Oh, he's proud of that one. 
off right when a trackless trolley comes. We have just gotten out of the fair. As you can see, great transit access. There's another free bus from the 70 down there. Food was great. Food was, yeah, food was solid. Good. Yeah, good diner food. Aesthetics. You Aesthetics about is this. pretty original. They put this like weird like castle-like thing on the roof, but honestly, like the original stainless steel is still there. So you know what? I'm going to give them credit for that. And I really yeah. like the sign. Like, the sign's gorgeous. Out, like, it's a really good like, vibe. It's open 24 here. hours, this place, too. Yeah, right. At least in terms of, so dine-ins only until 8, but I think you can do takeout 24 hours, oh, maybe. Exactly, yeah. Like, Not many diners cool. do that anymore. So, so our score, which we decided on uh, via a rigorous editorial process, oh, yeah. is are you guys ready? Yes. Eight, Eight out, out of ten. ten. And now we need to catch a seven. Now we're going to so take the Frank. 70 back to Frankfurt to go back. Not Frankfurt, the other one, Fern Rock, to go a different way back. Okay, I guess we're walking quick, huh? <laughs> Speed walking. <laughs> oh, but we can't cross here. The stop's there, but there's no crosswalk here. When the light turns red, we'll just cross. You must be a transit guru because you timed that perfectly. Oh, Fern Rock. We are taking the Broad Ridge Spur. It does a little branchy branch. Yeah. This is the one that goes like oh, to the right. Wow, this is like not a useful shot. Appreciate the fleeting moment that we're outside yeah. before we go into the tunnel. That's it. We have entered. We're going All into right. the tunnel. That was the local we missed at Fern Rock. We're dipping below we the main dipping, line. We are dipping, we are dipping, we are dipping. We're now going to turn onto Ridge Ave and go down the spur. Here is the abandoned Spring Garden station. Closed in. <laughs> Eight and half. This is one of the weirdest steps of stations. So it says stop and then it stops. No. Oh, this is a sign. Look where people. There's no. Close the door. One, two, three. If you close the door, the night could last forever. Leave the sun shine out. Say hello to never. All the people are dancing and they're having such fun. I wish it could happen to me. If you close the door. I never have to see the day again! There's no free transfer, so you have to pay again. Um, I apologize in advance for that. Lena left, so it's just us. I think that means it's time for the next diner. Next diner. Greetings from Center City. Hi! So we were gonna go to a party in New Jersey. In Millville, New Jersey, 1,500 but, miles but away from here. it's raining and all the crazies are out, so... And there's a wind tunnel. And we missed our yeah. Patco train. So instead, we're gonna go visit a diner. <laughs> so we're back. It's back. We're back. We're back. We're doing it. It's back. We're, it's back. Miles and Jackson eating in diners. Traveling on buses, trains, and streamliners. Jackson gets eggs. Miles gets French toast. Come and see which eater either digging the most. We got a lot of new pals in the crew. Joining us for part number two on Miles in Transit. That the bus spelled it Cinder Avenue. Yeah, so we're on it's Cinder Avenue right Snyder, now. Snyder, but the bus said Cinder. We're within eyesight of the Melrose Diner, but we still have to cross three crosswalks because there's freaking car culture. Put it on me, and then you could just like overlay a shot in post production of. Like, no, but then we, but we, if we pan up, pan up from your living don't, room. Don't to interfere with the vision. <laughs> All right, you got an artistic vision. So yeah, this is the Melrose. This is a uh, 1956 Paramount brand diner that was manufactured in Held On, New Jersey. This is a South Philly institution right here. We are standing on hallowed ground. Um, Thank you, Vanna White. Yeah. So this bad boy was renovated in like 2010. This is a picture of the Melrose before 2010. And it also survived a disastrous fire in 2019 and reopened. Wow. Um, menu shot, menu shot, 
Right now you're looking at the menu, Shy. Now, it's the breakfast menu is pretty much identical to the Mayfair, which was the last time we were at. Alina has pointed out that the, the like, dinner, dinner menu is a little bit different. It's different because the last one I got a tuna melt, and this is not on this menu. And right now I'm getting a Rachel, which yesterday we had a whole conversation about how they didn't have Rachel's. And so now I'm very hyped. French toast, scrambled eggs. Heck yeah. Rachel. Okay, Jackson here. So Melrose Diner is pretty well known for its desserts, and we decided to get a couple of their famous cakes and pies, namely the buttercream layer cake and uh, pumpkin pie. Miles here, who does not like sweet things, is about to try <laughs> one of my favorite sweet things on this planet, Melrose Diner's buttercream layer cake. Oh, pie. Let's see what happens. Now I'm on. Now I'm gonna have to edit this, so I have to eat it quickly for my own go, sake. Go. Ah. He did it for science. That was, that was a gallant effort. Oh High five. Credit. I love this, unlike Miles. Oh my god, this cake. Really good. Get ready to censor. This cake is a <laughs> I love. I don't know what to do with yeah, that. I don't know how to censor that one. <laughs> and I really like the pumpkin pie, so that the pumpkin is pie is something really for good. me here, too. We realized the last time we went to the Melrose, we forgot to get an inside shot. Hence why this is awkwardly pasted into a different day at the Melrose. <laughs> He's panning slowly. Yay! Yeah. Melrose Din. Transit accessibility. All right, we got 37. Broad. Oh yeah, okay. We got the Broad Street Line. Yeah. We got the two. We got the 79. Four. And I guess we took the 17 here and walked a couple blocks. That didn't include the 45 here. Really, the Broad Street Line is the main thing. Like that's enough. Yeah. To but there's a variety cool. of uh, stuff. It has been redone a little bit, but it's still got plenty of that classical diner ambiance going on. And of course, that neon sign. Food? <laughs> it's all right. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they were eggs that I put into my mouth. Yeah. Mine wasn't the best. But... I don't like the sausages here, but the French toast. Yeah, uh, but this cake, like. So good. So, so we're, we're rating going... the Melrose Diner a, a 9, nine out, out of 10. ten. We're back in the phone booth at Melrose. We were just... kind of eating and we thought maybe last time we rated a little bit too low. Because, Plus, I'm uh, in the process of editing right now and realizing that like compared yeah. to other diners that got similar scores, we definitely probably rated it too low. Melrose is definitely a quality place. So while yeah. there are a couple like little like quibbles with the execution, like the food's a little bit too pricey. Um, it's not as original architecturally as we'd like. It's still like, it's still- It's a Philly staple. It's the Melrose. Should we rescore all these diners, Miles? No! Fine, this is it. All right, we'll one, see. the melody. Two, a one, two. Everybody who knows goes to Melrose. Everybody who knows goes to Melrose. Everybody who knows goes to the Melrose Diner restaurant the most. Equality. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I guess that will work. It's raining. It's raining. Yeah. Uh, so I think that means it's time for the next, next diner. Next Stop. Miles and Jackson. Welcome to another Diversion Diner. It's Jeremy and, well, Jackson, Jackson. obviously. Um, <laughs> Do you forget my name, Miles? <laughs> Entrance to Suburban Station. Can't go in there. It's closed. Try to get to Suburban. So, all right, we were going to get on a 48 bus to a 47, but the pizza that we just got was too good, which will yeah. appear later in the video. So we missed that. So now we're going to get on the Lansdale Doylestown line Ooh. and head up to North Philly. Is this an open entrance and the very second one that we've come across? Oh no, the door could be locked. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I hate that this is a question we have to ask. Exactly. Okay, I got really scared for a sec. It's actually lucky this train is 14 minutes late because it's 1.55 and that's a 1.45, so we wouldn't have made it. Alright, let's count the cars. One. One. Ha, ha, ha. Two. Ha, ha, ha. Three. Ha, ha, ha. Four. Four cars. Whoa! Wait, look. They opted not to put <laughs> dots it. on, but now you can't read it. I mean, I'm happy, but like that's just now the ad's ineffective. Jackson or Jeremy, what does this sign say? I think it says, "Dude, it's fair rude." Seat. One. If one you have a one, seat. if you're like in zone one, it says one fair, one seat. Because of the so arrows. Dumb. Check out the. Uh, <gasps> 
I don't even is know that what that liner? is. That's a blue liner. What is a blue oh, liner, Jeremy? Blue liner was the old Reading EMU cars. Thank you. This is the Lansdale Oil Town Line. This is the Lansdale Oil Town Line. So we're at the Fern Rock Transportation Center Regional Rail Station, and we're heading to that neighborhood. Would you like to film me going to that neighborhood? <laughs> Build a bridge! It's right there, there's so many houses, you get so much ridership here. We have just left the Regional Rail Fair Gate. We now are getting a are bus. So we have oh to enter God. the Broad Street Fair Gate, then go through the platform, leave, and then pay a bus fare! Wait, so there's now a secret way we can go. I so I've asked, I, I asked the booth per agent, and he told us to go down, get an elevator to the street from okay. here, apparently. Oh, okay, wait, there's an exit over oh, here. Exit. If you're coming from this side, which is what we did, you have Just to go, go up, up over, over, down, over, up, walk. I mean, I'm gonna take the elevator. Already elevator down. review. It's like maybe like five feet of elevator cool. change. It's really, it's gonna be really funny. <laughs> I want oh. okay. That was a really slow ride for, for a not There's for... dubious sticks on the ground. Yeah. Oh, B. E. What's S? Subway. <laughs> this is pretty bad. Wait, I <laughs> just smell. It's it's just odor. It's, it's not pee. Yeah. It's odor. Listen well, to how loud it is. When does yeah. it open? Here. Oh. See, I was saying. Also, now look how. Oh, we went that I, distance. My, that took so long, though. My, Do you that, realize that, how that, long that took? My, well, that, that was like a minute. Oh, and now we walk over there. Is that a 57 <laughs> sitting right there? Yeah, wait, I don't think it's gonna leave for a little I, bit. It's supposed to leave at 2:30. Oh! <laughs> it's 2.34! Alright, we made it. Whitman Plaza. There's no footbridge to the row yeah. houses neighborhoods. So we're taking a very short bus ride just to get across the main line to the actual neighborhood. Thank you. It's raining. What's the story with this, Jackson? So this one is kind of an enigma. This is a 40s, I'm guessing Silk City diner that's kind of been fossilized inside oh. this like, modern restaurant that's kind of been built around it. When we walk in there, it's gonna be like a perfectly preserved diner in there. Really? Yeah. The building's so unassuming. After you, since you're the diner expert. Oh my god. That's just a diner. That's wow. so cool. Like, you can see the this is the coolest the thing of a diner. ever. Wow. Yeah, right. And then see that the, the roof. Yeah. And oh, in yeah. there, do you see there's the menu board? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's wow. Alright, well that was one of the coolest yeah, yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now that we've got uh, like some sodas. Yeah, to we go. weren't that weird. Yeah, I think now that we're walking to uh Kitchen Godfrey, it's time for the uh next, next diner. Buses, trains, stream miners. It's car eleven eleven. Make a wish. It's car Helen, Helen. Wow, I cannot see you, I'm too zoomed in. <laughs> it's Helen from earlier. It's a Jackson, we were all on the same train. This is oh, Haley. Hi. Helen was already seen already. <laughs> all right, now we gotta get to 9th and Market in like three minutes. Okay. There's apparently a big detour due to a marathon that's not happening right now, clearly, but it's all day. Southbound via 8th, right on Callow Hill, left on 9th, right on Vine, so Lay Vine. Vine between 10th and 11th, we're so way like off. The... We've got pears and bubble tea acquired. Uh, we're gonna try to make the 11, 50 flumper flumper bus. A few moments later. Do you guys want to know a fun fact? What's a fun fact? The bus left four minutes early. Whoa! At this point, we might as well walk. We're pretty it's close. It's spring garden. Turns out, this place is closed on Sundays. This whole trip has been cursed. This used to be the Spring Ridge Diner. It looks like it was a Mountain View brand diner, uh, probably from the mid 50s. So yeah, Wait, I. Really, I stay <laughs> I'm gonna pictures of people taking pictures. There's nothing original. I mean, there's a diner hidden somewhere behind there, but... Okay, we're in the median of Spring Garden Street. This was a disaster. Next diner. Update, we got in on a different day. Yeah, we came back. It's it's pretty we good. Do our pizza. Research. Pretty good. Next diner? Question mark? Miles in Chandler. That's the bus we're trying to get. Will we make that 49? Type your answer in the comments. Oh cool, my camera's low on battery. Well, here's a 49. So this place is really interesting because it's a diner bar concept. I'm not sure if French toast and eggs are gonna be on the menu. Oh, um, one out of 10. On to 20th. 
from market we're heading north all right it is nice to be out here yeah i love this neighborhood this is fairmount we're now gonna get the 43 there's one in five minutes but it's not tracking if that one doesn't exist the next one's in 30 minutes so we started walking back and the bus showed up about eight minutes late this is an in motion shot Woo. Got off the bus, and this is a distillery ass distillery Ooh. right here. So this is the new part of it here, and then here's the diner. Here's the diner. So this was manufactured by Silk City Dining Cars of Patterson, New Jersey, which is known okay. as the Silk City. Okay. Hence the name of the manufacturing company. Hence the name of the diner. This is a diner that was manufactured in 1959, and okay. it was originally known as Dee Dee's. In the 90s, it was renamed the American Diner Two because there was an American Diner One somewhere else, and now it's Silk City. <laughs> It is really original in here. Check out, they still have the original flooring going on. They've converted it into kind of like a little hipster restaurant, but like they still yeah. kept a lot of the No diner stuff food. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. So yeah, I got some mac and cheese. And I got some grilled chicken. My camera battery is really low, so I hope it's- Just pan down to us. But I'm facing the wrong. Oh yeah, right. I'm facing. <laughs> Why is it so bright? Oh, it's flash. How do I just... I don't know how this works. So we just ate a meal at the Silk City Diner. This is one of these kind of like hipstery places where like everything is like 10 bucks and above. Yeah. And like the food we have was like pretty good. The preservation of this diner is incredible. Really good. This diner is original inside and out. Transit accessibility is pretty good. You've got the market Frankfurt line is pretty close. The 57 comes by here. It's like not like yeah. frequent frequent, but it's okay. Right. 47 is decently close. 43 is not frequent that comes by. It's like, yeah, that's what we took five. to get here. So we Overall, are rating this diner a six, six out, out of 10. 10. Um, the lack of diner food did right. it, I think. Beep, 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 beep. We're about to take the 57. Woo! I like um, not having to hold the camera. I can be yeah, so energetic. I run around. Miles is gavorting like a gazelle right now. You gotta film the bus coming in. Thank you. Market Street. We just got off the bus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to use both of these. And, and to prove it, we're and off the bus. So that was Silk City. I yeah. Think we're ready for the next diner, right? Yeah, I guess we're ready for the next diner. But before we do that, we built Silk, Silk City. City. One, two, three. We built Silk City. We built Silk City on rock and roll. Built Silk City. We built Silk City on rock and roll. Oh, we have that long. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. We're at a party, or we just left a party, and we realized that we didn't fully exercise the Silk City music puns. So have fun. One, two, one, two. You know we're gonna Silk City Cause it's two to one You know we're gonna Silk City Gonna have some fun You know we're gonna Silk City Cause it's two to one You know we're gonna Silk City Gonna have some fun now Two girls for every boy I think that's good Miles in transit Actually we're back at Silk City Well not yet But we found out that Silk City serves brunch on weekends only from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We gotta get French toast and scrambled eggs. Jackson has brought a whole coterie of people along. Who are you all? Say me your names. I'm Rachel. I'm Ash. Alexis. Oh. Ah! We're getting the 29 right now. We're in South Philly. The bus is coming. It seems like some of us are a little unprepared. Yeah, What's the so story? Lex doesn't have a mask. Mo doesn't have his wallet. Rachel, I think Rachel's good. Ashley's good. Here are okay. the responsible citizens. Here we go. Lads. All right, here we go, y'all. We all made it on the bus somehow. The 29 is fun because it's entirely on Acepta Street, so we're just dealing yeah. with double parked cars galore. This is a very narrow street for a bus to be traveling down. Ash, do you want to pull this thing? Oh yeah. Whoa. Whoa. We are about to take a mother father of a route. Oh. <laughs> I'm keeping it family friendly on miles in transit. I'm not.
So there used to be a streetcar running up and down this street, and this street, if you go up far enough, it goes to the Italian market. So when they converted this trolley route to a bus in 1967, they were like, let's do the logical thing and not have it go through the Italian market anymore, since that is a narrow-ass strip. But SEPTA being SEPTA, they decided to add a special variation of the 47 called the 47M that does go through the Italian market. That's what the M stands for. It's a really weird route. It only goes north. It doesn't go south. And on Sundays, it's every, like, 45-ish minute from, like, 10 a.m. to 2 this is literally the stupidest SEPTA route. We're about to get on this weird route, and this is like a rare opportunity because like when the f*** else will we ride the 47M? I'm keeping it family friendly on miles and transit. It's the intersection of Pat's and, and Gino's is down there. And... And Gino's. Thanks, Jackson. No prob, Miles. Who puts a bus on this street? Why would you do this? We're currently crawling through the Italian market. I'm seeing a transaction being made with someone standing in the street making a market transaction in front of us so we can't pass. There he goes into the stall, so now we can move forward a bit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So you have to stay quiet like you stay Going through the Italian market on the 47M is making my trolley-loving heart very happy. That sounds very new agey. Don't judge me. We're out of the market, so we're moving at kind of a normal speed now. Literally everybody else on this bus besides us just got off at Market Street. This is a route of contrast. We're now on like a five-lane monster road. <laughs> Someone's getting on the 47M. No, he tried to get on the driver yelled at him. Oh, everyone thoughts on the 47M? It's perfect. Jackson, is that a diner? Wow, uh, what a coincidence that we wound up at a diner. We have made it into the foyer of Silk City. That's the diner. We've eaten there already, and I think we're going to end up eating out here, which is a nice change. Yeah, right. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. So obviously we've come here to get our standby. So Jackson's getting the breakfast special, which has two eggs, any style, home fries. You know, close enough. Uh, the French toast they have is banana French toast, which oh. is interesting. All sweet large plates served with real maple sire. This is not stage. This isn't stage. This is entirely natural. Jackson's in the bathroom, but our food has arrived. Ash, what'd you get? Check in. Shorty all the lemon ricotta pancakes. Yay, Jackson, you're back for the food shot. What did you get? We discussed oh, no. it already. I but got a, uh, I got some French toast and some home fries, which look actually really You got scrambled like... eggs. And uh, yeah, I got French toast that has bananas and I think this is whipped cream, which I don't like whipped cream. Lex, I'm going to give it to you. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh! oh. Right on. I'm trying to get all the bananas done first. I don't really understand like caramel plus banana. Table consensus has been that these bananas are caramelized. Why are you confused? I don't know, the banana taste doesn't work well with the maple it's syrup caramelized. taste. It's caramelized. It's just bizarre. I'm sorry, Silk City. I'm sure the French toast is amazing. I'll check back in in like five minutes. Five minutes later. I've eaten all the bananas. It's time for the French toast. Tell me, what is your first impression? Very good. Nice door pull, Jackson. We've come out of Silk City, take two. So we've already discussed some of the qualities here. How did everyone think the food was? It was great. Yeah, I really yeah. liked it. I hated the bananas, <laughs> but the French toast was really good, so it yeah. makes up for it. I think our general consensus is like, this is pricey and oh and the brunch is only served on weekends from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So with all so that, that in mind, mind we, we are excited to give the Silk City <laughs> an score eight out of, out of ten. Spring Garden Street, uh, the most pleasant of streets. <laughs> This station, what is this station? I don't like this. <laughs> I don't know what it's this is. It's pretty miserable. <laughs> this mezzanine is squashed between two sides of a highway. So because of that, there's one fare machine and then three fare gates. Oh, there's a secret fourth one through there. It's roomy in here. And now, isn't the station so lovely? I can totally hear myself think right now. This station has one 
warm indoor element and it's directly in the path of like actual people trying to get and in. And here comes some actual people trying to get in, so uh, we're gonna have to move. Oh, no, I don't like that. There's two pennies on the seat though. You can have the penny if you want. Okay. Let's go sit in the mystery liquid. Nah, maybe I don't want to. We're heading back. I think it's time for the next, next diner. diner. We're on the 73, deviating to the shoppies at Wissanomic. There is no one else on this bus. Everyone just got off of the Indy before the vacation, so they probably knew what was coming. We've got Jeremy. Hi. We're going to a diversion diner. Heck yeah, we are. It's a bus on the roof. She got it. I'm in a really awkward position right now. Yeah. Jackson, take a picture of me in this position, and then I'll put it right like right, over I'm this. I'm getting out my phone. My phone's coming out of my pocket. Here comes the phone. Watch it! I got it. It's the Florida part of Philly with the weird one-story bungalows. What is this? I know, this is so What's weird. What's the little with the Florida part of Philly? All right. Yay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Is that a diner? I don't think a manufacturer is known for this one because I haven't found any pictures of it before its transformation into this, but it's probably mid-50s based on its shape. Oh wow, Miles, that's my favorite uh, 90s girl group. All right, let's check this place out. Ooh, counter. Do we want to like go in in there? I see a counter. I see some booths. I'm good. Sorry, we're not eating here, but it, I bet it's good, yes. right? If you happen to be in I-95 wasteland territory and want Chinese food inside a repurposed and slightly modified former diner, Spice Girls is your place. One, two, three. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I really, really, really wanna sing, 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 sing. That was okay, that was good. I think it's time for the next diner. I would just like to point out that SEPTA does not say the 17 is detoured when the 17 would be running down this. The 17 has no way of running down this. As much as Jefferson Airplane would want you to think, the 17 cannot run down this. SEPTA. <laughs> Yeah, the 17 is definitely Get not your act down. together. <laughs> Remember when we couldn't get to Bob's earlier in the video? Now we're continuing from there. So we're gonna do a different diner right now. This is called the Penrose. We would have taken the 17, but it's not gonna be here. So I think we're gonna try to take that. As you may remember from earlier in the video, today SEPTA is a morass of various detours and reroutings. You missed it. It's on the, we're on the wrong side. B train to 69th Street. B only. Doors are open. Uh, this day never ends. We're gonna walk to 17th. We're gonna get the detour to get the detour to. Which is every totally half hour on Sunday. Oh wait, that's closed. <laughs> 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 I guess this works. Speaking of septic closing entrances, this gate should remain unlocked while trains are running. I don't know. Last I checked, trains are indeed running right now. And last time I checked, this looks pretty locked to me. The For two, some reason, the two is it's, not taking its detour routing and is going on 21st, <laughs> which, what the heck is that? The 17 just said, doesn't even say it's a detour. The two, it just doesn't, it, the detour is just wrong, apparently. Today's adventure is called <laughs> Jackson and Miles Try to Use SEPTA to Get to Any Diner. <laughs> Please. We ran all uh, this way to get a two. The two will get us down further, I, I don't think. Know about you, but I'm feeling the two. Wow, so the impossible happened. While we were running, Miles lost his key card. To pay cash, 250. And we're stuck. So they're using South Street as the detour route, and it's too tight to swing this corner. Yeah. Nice. So we're coming on the Moya Mexican. This is a part of South Philly I'm really not familiar with. Look at this median. We got enough? I think so. Oh, well, I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Welcome to all right, it's not the literal front door, but it's yeah. over there. So now we have to do some pedestrian navigating this, yes. like, highway hell right here, but... There's a penny in my shoe? <laughs> this is the exit ramp from the Google Expressway, but look at the expanse of asphalt that this is. This is terrible. I, this this <laughs> diner's in a really interesting location. Yeah, and right. by interesting, I mean bad. Well, I mean, the parking lot's full, so they must be doing something right. Oh, we're <laughs> running again because I left my wallet on the bus. <laughs> Can this day just be normal? Thankfully, we're close to the end. 
So we're gonna run back to the bus, which is laying over right laying now. Over. Just found my wallet. Found it on the bus. Laying over bus. Yes. All right. So now we're back on our way to the Penrose Diner after that little wallet finding interview. What time is it? It's 2:01. 2.01 p.m. It feels like a lot later than that. So this diner was built in 1963, and as Miles said, it looks really mod then. Do you see like all Gorgeous. that neon, like the little A-frame? And today, it looks like this. So there's an original diner in there somewhere, like factory manufactured, <laughs> but it's not really apparent. Sign's pretty cool. Sign's like the one yeah, right. neat thing That's here. Some... I don't know if we're gonna be like easier on it because we're tired or harder on it because we're frustrated. <laughs> this parking lot's also really full and I'm kind of worried we're gonna have to wait. I'm seeing a lot of people in the windows. I well, swear, we'll I see. swear. So many obstacles. Ah, uh, look, there's a claw right. game. Here we go. All right. We have a five or ten minute wait for a table, so we got a count. Menu shot, menu shot, right now you're looking at the menu shot. This diner follows me on Instagram. That's Fun great. fact. I'm excited. This is some like, this is some cohesive ass home fries. Yeah, this looks great. All right, we all have right. Penrose. We have Penrisen. So first of all, um, architecture slash originality, I mean... It's not. Y'all saw the before like, and after comparison <laughs> shot. Like this is not original whatsoever. No, it looks really nice inside. It's like yeah. a really nice place to eat, but it's yeah. not it's not vintage. It's at not all. a diner diner. Um, my food was perfectly serviceable. I had actually two very good French toast. Yeah, right. It's the really the hard to very beefy. It was really the waitress good. was amazing. Oh, service was wonderful. Yeah, I know. Transit accessibility, pretty bad. Uh, the right, 17 so the 17 comes here, and that's a frequent route, right. so that's good. But it does drop you off like on the other side of this suburban Horrible intersection. highway yeah. interchange hellscape. And other than that, it's really just the 2, which is like not that frequent, and the 68, which is really infrequent. We're gonna walk to the Broad Street line. It's not like close enough to like be right. factored in, but like it's- This we'll is kind of a big it. intersection. I guess our final score for this diner would be- 7, seven out, out of 10. 10. We made it to Oregon Station. I need to get a new key card, but I've registered my old one, so I'll transfer the funds over. Well, this is gonna Hopefully. be fun. Uh... So I guess it's time to move on to the next segment of this video. So, uh... See which eerie we're digging the most. I just got out of class from the Penn Museum. I said that so... Terribly. Eating Jackson at 30th Street for today's diner. Hopefully waiting for a Lucy bus to add some modal intrigue to this video. That back door is so weird. We're off to a raging start. Okay, we found a real entrance. Try number two. Three fares. Oh. We'll pay. <laughs> so we're waiting for the Market Frankfurt line. According to the SEPTA app, trains continue to operate with delays of up to 10 minutes in both directions due to equipment issues. Trains continue to operate with delays of up to 10 minutes in both directions due to equipment issues. And indeed, the delay is making the station busy enough that it feels like traditional pre-COVID rush hour. So we're now gonna get the 57 bus. Wait, Jackson, let's get the next 57. This one's not that busy, actually, but this one might even be emptier. This is a game you play with bus punching. Like, will this one, yeah, this like this sad. one might have been first and the other one passed it. I think that might be the case. This is kind of busy. I just want to point out that we've been picking up several people at each stop, which makes me wonder if the first bus is playing games and not picking anyone up. We're deep in South Philly territory right now. Thank you. Well. The bunch beat us, but we have been dropped off very close to the diner. Wait, is this yours? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Welcome to the Egon Diner. We're here at the Egon Diner. All the sources I, don't, I have don't know who it was manufactured by. It's been here since the mid-60s. It's been remodeled a couple times since then, as you can see, because it's got some fake stone on the facade that kind of looks like a vacation home in Cape Cod. We also can't find any old pictures of it, which is why you're not seeing yeah, it. Yeah, right, you're not it seeing it. It seems like no one cares well. about this diner. This so in that like sense, a... we're entering the modern era here. Exactly. This isn't like a Melrose slice of 50s Americana. This is, sure. you know, this is a diner where we're going to get some groovy food. And that's yeah. pretty much it. There's nothing wrong. With that though. Noted amenity at this diner, claw machines. This looks like a resort. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. For a menu that's not a book, <laughs> this is a book ass menu. <laughs> yeah, no. 
So like to the extent that anything in here is probably original, it's probably this row of windows that are kind of slanted outward because that's a very 60s thing to have. Also for what it's worth, I really like this floor. This is some really uh, artsy mosaic we got going on here. This is also some bold colors. We got these really cool placemats, which are kind of a diner standby, but which I don't think we've gotten so far in our Philly diner adventures. So if, if you, Miles and Transit viewers, want to advertise on this mat, you can call 856-418-1265. Oh. The Egon Diner so has been at the dined Egon at. Diner. I thought the food was pretty good. It was pretty good. The, the yeah. sausages were a little rough, but like I generally yeah. enjoyed it as far as diner food yeah, goes. Yeah, exactly. But um, the service was fantastic. Service was, we yeah. had like the greatest waitress ever. Tammy, you are so cool. It's not the most interesting <laughs> diner architecturally. It just kind of right. looks like a restaurant at this point, but I mean, it's very and, clean in there. I mean, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was a nice place. And trans accessibility is pretty awesome. Yeah, know, exactly. But. There are a couple different routes that like their terminal point is the um, is Whitman, Whitman Plaza, Plaza, which is right over there. 4757. The G comes by in Oregon. Yeah. We're actually going to take the 7 now, which is not a frequent route. It yeah. does come by, so I guess that counts. The 47 M if you want to count that for when you the leave. The 47 M. So, so all overall, in all, we decided, we decided to, rate to rate this place, this place a 7, seven out, out of 10. 10. I think that's all that needs to be said about that. Yeah. So, on to the 7. On to the 7. I didn't have time to film anything coming because it just kind of showed up on us. But yeah, right. We're on the 7, which is an interesting L shaped route that goes across all of South Philly and then runs up to North Philly. It is uh, Broad Street. For what it's worth, it says 7 S 11 on the 7 S 7. <laughs> We're gonna go to Jackson's house, which you're not gonna see, so yeah. I think we can safely say next, next diner. diner. Jackson! Whoa. Our guest is here just in time for the bus, which is early, no worries. All of the YouTube vloggers using the Mark <laughs> really? Yeah, I'll tell you that. I don't know, I just have one camera. <laughs> Miles in Transit Universe, this is the groovy Helen. <laughs> Hello. And today, all of us are going Jackson, to- Jackson, please. Jackson, do you see your hand motion on We're going to the Broad Street Diner. These two lovely people let me drag them out of bed at like 11.30 a.m. so we could go to South Philly. So that is true friendship right there. This is one of those diners that's only open till two. Since I live like, 10 minutes away from this diner, and a 10 minute walk wouldn't make for interesting transit content, I decided to meet them at Penn, and we're taking the 40 now. And then I assume yeah. we're gonna take the Broad Street line. So that's gonna One be... stop. Yeah. We okay. can, that'd One be kinda stop. fun. It's Broad Street. Look, Jackson, is that diner in our, in our thing? It's a skyscraper. We are here at Lombard South with this classic South Philly prison cell vibe. It's got some uh, evocative 1928 vintage tile. Wow. wow. That's a, what did you mean in college? <laughs> here comes the train very slowly. <laughs> One stop. This will be real time. I just filmed the whole thing and I'll time lapse it and we can talk about whatever we want, but I'll time lapse it so it won't matter. Well, that was a great ride. The station is similar in design, but there's no tiles, Jackson. This, well, there's tiles. There's tiles, but they're not nice tiles. Did we get out the exact right exit? Whoa! Ooh, this is a nice diner! Well, we made it. We're waiting to film stuff, but this church has decided to serenade us with music. Do you even know what song this is? What is this? This isn't even It's like if you just like smash all the black keys on the piano, that's what this is. I mean, it's like pleasant. No, it's uh, not. It's not that pleasant. Well, I mean, like, melodically, it's pleasant. This was built in 1964 by a company called Paramount. It's the same company that built the Melrose. Is it the same company that, like, makes all the movies? No, different company. Okay. Everything was Paramount in the 40s because that was just like a common word for like things that were good. You see like little bits of stone between the windows, like yeah, like that's original because like in oh, the 60s wow, everything okay. was kind of like earthy and hippie, and they were oh. using like like natural materials. Oh, it's like it was open 24 hours. Is it oh, not? Yeah, yeah, although it's only yeah. open till like two right oh, now. It's open right? till three. And the sign is inaccurate. Dang. Should, so we're setting up the photo, and it's literally the subway entrance is right here, and we're putting it yeah. on the subway entrance. This is a could not be more perfect. The video making process. Oh. Menu shot. Menu shot. 
Right now you're looking at the menu shot. As you can see by the design of the menu, which has like three different fonts going on, this is owned by the same people who own the Melrose and the Mayfair. So that's pretty cool. I didn't realize it's like a diner empire in Philly. Like, hey baby, what if we kissed in a weird little like, no, but, 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 like, like little little five seat counter? That, that was that was fair. This is the food shot. We're looking at the food right now. Helen suggested that we film ourselves eating, and <laughs> we're it. really sad that you weren't here for the first diner because this is such a good idea. <laughs> Alright, do you think I've filmed enough? Yeah. You filmed a good amount of stuff. We leave the diner and it's going again! We did it. This was a very good one. Yeah, yeah I actually really enjoyed this diner. The food was really good. The service the was, food was great. The service yeah. was great. It's Inside actually a very nice aesthetic yeah. diner, despite us being in the 60s yeah. now. Trans accessibility, you literally you cannot be. beat. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> it is right here. There's literally a subway entrance in the parking oh. lot. There's also the four that goes by here. Yes, and the 64 on Washington 64 is a block away. So we're gonna rate this diner. And eight, eight out, out of 10. ten. <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty in sync on that. A one, two, three. Do you still need me? Do you still feel me when I'm 64? I think the part wrong. And with that, the 64 appears not to be coming, so we're gonna take the Broad Street line. We spent all that time thinking about it. Next diner. Next diner. We didn't do it a single all right, ready? <laughs> Next, Next diner. diner. All right, I don't know how okay, I'm gonna so edit this. Get this. There's a diner. There's a diner at Second that's closed. It briefly became a nightclub, but now it's neither a diner nor a nightclub. So it's just this is an interlude. This is an interlude. Miles and Jackson eating in diners, traveling on buses, trains, and streamliners. Jackson gets eggs, Miles gets French toast. Come and see which eater either digging the most. We've got guests, just wait and see. Right here, right now, in part number three on Miles in Transit. Hi Jackson and guest. Hi, host. this is Aaron. You may know me from the comments that came from the leave. We're going to a place called the Country Club, which, as its name sounds, is technically a diner, but it's kind of like more like a restaurant in execution. Oh wait, that's us. Yes. Okay. So because of equipment delays, quote unquote, Miles yeah. in Transit has become more like Miles is standing in one spot. Oh, we're closing. oh the doors Yay. are closing. Next stop in the second will be Allegheny. Septa surprise, this is an express now. Which is honestly fine by us, because we're going to Aris. Next stop on this train will be Allegheny. Not here at us out. Get out of here, Spring Garden. Get out of here, Gerard. Get out of here, Burks. Get out of here, York Dolphin. Get out of here, Huntington. Get out of here, Somerset. There's not much Somerset tonight, because it's pretty cloudy out. Get out of here, Allegheny. I said, I said, get out of here. I said, get out. Doors are Dang. opening. We're about to take a trackless trolley to trackless trolley Tolton. Aaron's first time on a trackless yeah. trolley. Yeah. Uh, how excited are you? first time on this trackless trolley. Uh, really? Our trackless trolley is here, running in diesel mode. Oh, fair free! Wait, really? Yeah, that's why you're going on. We are still in diesel mode, as you can tell from the bus being noisy. There's a rotten noise from the dieselness, and we're all getting butt massages, so. Yeah. SEPTA should realize that the point of a trackless trolley is to run it on the wires. Yeah. This sucks. Thank you. Wow, that was some very nice footage of us getting off of a diesel bus. That was the worst trackless trolley ride of my life. No, because it wasn't a trackless trolley. A trackless trolley on the wires. Who would have thought? Jackson, no! Jackson's roped up! No! no. no. After a roughly seven minute walk, we've made it. This is the country club. This is a 1968 Fodero. It's like technically a diner, 
in that it was manufactured in a factory and probably brought over here in like a bunch of different pieces. But, I mean, like, does it look like a diner? It just looks like a restaurant. It's a diner right there. Over here, it's a diner and restaurant, but here it's just a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh. Some Mediterranean energy right here. Menu shot. Menu shot. So based on this menu design, which has the same beguiling combination of Times New Roman, Calibri, and Ariel, we think this place is owned by the same people who own the Melrose, the Mayfair, and the Broad Street. Enough. Whoever these people are have a Philadelphia diner empire. Look, it's one of those like buffet-like situations where like people who like get like a salad bar like can just go over there and like get their drinks. There like, definitely must have been a buffet here pre-COVID. This is the shady maple of Philadelphia diners. <laughs> Only Philadelphia ones will get it. <laughs> So the diner room is also a pokey stop. Let's, <laughs> let's read the bio here. Iconic Jewish American diner serving the Reinhardt neighborhood of Philadelphia for over 60 years. Are you getting good stuff? I got two pokey. I got that. Okay. I got three bowls. What a haul. Shooting the food. What'd you get, Aaron? I got some hot cakes. <laughs> Very nice. Also, I got cinnamon raisin French toast, which I think still fits within the spirit of getting French toast each time, right? I think that's fair. Alright, that was the country club. So the food was like not bad. Just really terrible value for money. The portions were really tiny. Okay, so I found this photo of the regular French toast on their website. It looks to be significantly bigger. So this is what I get for breaking the spirit by getting cinnamon raisin French toast. Bad move. Oh, they don't really see why the cinnamon raisin portion should be smaller than the normal one. I don't know. I didn't get that much eggs. I got a good amount of grits though. I mean, it is fairly original. This is what this diner looked like when it rolled out of the factory in 1968. It, it doesn't, doesn't feel like a diner. It doesn't diner. really feel like a diner. It's there was no music odd. in there. It was so quiet. weird. And the place is yeah. massive. There's like, you could fit so many people in there. Trans Accessibility is fine, but not great. The 70s, the only frequent route that comes here. The 59 runs sometimes, the 77 never runs, the 19 never runs, and the 67 runs occasionally, it's like every half hour. So you can get a bus here, you just probably, most likely have to check a schedule first. After all of this forethought, we have decided to rate this diner a... Five out of 10. We originally gave the country club a six, but we were already debating it that night. I think we just had a lot more negative to say than positive, and maybe we just came on an off night, but it seems like the country club just wasn't the greatest diner in the world. And now we're gonna get the 67 or the 19 back to Frankfurt, because we took the 70 in a previous segment. We're on the 67, going to Frankfurt. We're on the 67, going to Frankfurt. We're on the 67, going to Frankfurt. Get on the L. Next diner. Weekly snap and oh, say yeah. next diner. Ready? Next diner. Miles and Jackson. This is another diversion diner. It's Jackson and Jeremy. Whoa! This is a nasty screw. Where are we taking this? Center City. We're, We're going to Center City. City. We're going to Market in Columbus. We're coming from a different diversion diner, which I think you've seen already in a different video. We've turned off the giant, like, five-lane road, and we're now on a single-lane street. Very nice vista here as we enter Fishtown. Back oh. up, buddy. He was past the stop sign. Get back. You want a piece of this? Keep going. Oh, yep. Yeah, there you uh, go. We're back on an objective road of Columbus uh -oh. Boulevard. Two seconds later, we deviate over to Spring Garden Station, squeezing the tomato over to Spring Garden. Thank you. I guess we gotta go up there. How do we? Oh, oh that's such Wait, a scourge. Miles, we have to cross the, the, free, the little free track. track. Do we have to go up that monstrosity? Yes, we do. Uh, did they put this fence here? Oh no, they put a break no, in the I fence, so I guess it's... <laughs> Just pave it! This is kind of nice. If you wanted to use the ramp for only a portion, you can use all these different meeting points <laughs> yeah. to use some ramp, so we're making a but not all of it. Alright, let's do a ramp deviation here. Oh, it does look like it gives us kind of a view, though. We picked the right landing. To oh, good. <laughs> Don't you love this scenic view of all these grow houses with I-95 plowed right through them? It needs more lanes in my it's opinion. White Eisenhower. <laughs> right when I was about to start filming saying this bus wasn't moving, it started moving. It's like five minutes late, but that's okay. Frames is completely out. Oh, so is that not like... 
That is not a window. There's another window behind it. Oh, I was gonna say. There's the regional rail portal. And there's an old, uh, there's an old early 20th century gas station with Whoa. some Spanish terracotta. Ooh. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Wow. We got us a pizza diner. Tell me about this diner, Jackson. I have to go dig into my backpack. Jackson, you were supposed to be prepared. According to my sources, this is a diner from the 60s. It's been remodeled. I don't okay. think the manufacturer is known for this one either, so let's okay. see what it looks like in there. You see how where the paneling changes shape over there? That they resized oh, the windows. Yeah. They made them smaller. So uh -huh. that's a modification they made. But otherwise, it's pretty original. Was it always the wood paneling? It probably would have been. This is a movement of diner that's known in diner preservationist circles as environmental. So huh. as opposed to using like stainless steel and stuff, they're using like a lot of natural materials. Look at a photo of the diner. It looks exactly yeah. like how it looks today. Yeah, exactly. There's history. This is the menu, menu shot. shot. The menu actually has like the whole history of the diner. Whoa. Whoa. Right. Read, pause the video and read this. Here's a food shot. It's pizza. So we're not like official reviewing this one but the vibe was pretty good the pizza, pizza was, was really the pizza good. was good I think it's time for the, the next, next diner, diner. We're on the Broad Street Line Express. Who the heck are you? I'm Caitlin. Hi. We're going to a place called the Red Robin. That's in North Philly. I've just been informed that what I refer to as the is actually in Northeast Philly, and those are two different things. We've been going really slow, but here's us skipping a station, even though it's slow. We're getting the 26 to, we're in North Philadelphia right now. We're gonna take the 26 to North oh, East Philadelphia. That was kind of right. Here is Central High School. Caitlin has some friends that went here. It also looks just suspiciously like a jail. Faded yellow veins run down streets, marking out a map to follow. Follow the yellow brick road down wide streets to search for buried treasures. Sadly, we must get on the bus, otherwise I'd love to hear the rest. We are turning north, despite the fact that our destination is actually south of here. The, did I mention the 26? That's a really weird route to get to where we want to go. I always thought we were turning at that intersection that we just passed, but we're actually not. I think so, it might be the next one. Right. Now we're turning. Now we have to walk several blocks. It's worth noting that we could have just taken the 66 from Frankfurt, and it would have been far more direct. But we've already taken the 66 in this video, so we wanted to change that it up. That would have been far too easy. It's a trackless trolley. And another one. We made it. It's a diner. Red! Robin, yum! This is a Fodero. This was built in Newark. Newark! Newark, Newark <laughs> New Jersey. Fodero is one of those brands that like was a master purveyor of the big like family style Mediterranean diner. There's like that open 24 hours neon bit, but it's only open till right, eight. Right. Ooh, cash only affair. I've got cash. Alright, you ready? The moment of truth. Wow. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. Menu shot, menu shot. This is a long menu shot. Shot, right now you're looking at the menu shot. This may not be Red Robin the chain, but they still got that like that neon trim going on outside, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, true. All right, everyone, we're taking food shots. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, what'd you get? cheeseburger. Wow. <laughs> Since we filmed that intro piece like almost an hour ago, Miles put gloves on. So this diner may be like kind of um, the best one you've had so far. Oh yeah, yeah right. Say it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, yeah. it's not like a it's 50s like, stainless yeah, steel right. diner, but it's pretty original inside and out. They tried to yeah. make it like a 50s Everything's diner inside. Everything's refurbished, but still very right. honest, like right. their style. The food was really good. Really good. And like, I complained about the portions last time. This was pretty much the same portion, but it's so much cheaper. The prices so were it's so fine. good. Like, it doesn't matter. No. The service was spectacular. It was so nice in there. It was and, yeah. such a nice We waiter. also came like, what, 40 minutes? minutes before it closed. Right, and they were fine, they were so calm, right. and they told us like, take our time. And then transit accessibility is pretty good. Yeah. You have the 66 right here, which is super frequent. You also have the 56, which is semi a walk, which close enough that Google Maps recommends it as a way of getting here. And then obviously we took the 26 here, which isn't that frequent, and the 88 also comes here, and that's not that frequent. But the 66 and 56 are both frequent routes. Yeah. You can get to where you want to go from here, there it's not that much of a There are a variety of, a of ways to get here yeah. from wherever you are in Philly. Based on all those criteria, 
uh, we, have we have decided, decided to, to award, award this, this diner, diner a nine out of ten. A previously <laughs> unheard of nine. We have decided to take the sixty-six. You might remember in the last diner, the trackless trolley was not a trackless trolley. Well, this one better be. Oh crap! All right. Oh. Now this is a trapless trolley. Caitlin, what are your thoughts on this trapless trolley? Great time. Oh. <laughs> we got this premium seat for that. We did. We are zooming and this bus sounds amazing. Well, like five minutes later, we're at Frankfurt. Taking the 26 was definitely not the fastest way of getting there, you know but it was sure was fun. It's like an awe of this trapless trolley machine. It's gorgeous. <laughs> He oh. rocks in the treetops all the day long oh. Hopping and a bopping and a singing his song oh. All the little birds on Jaybird Street Love oh. to hear the rabbit go Tweet, 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 tweet rock and robin Tweet, 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 rock and robin Tweet, 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 tweet dee Go rock and robin Cause you're really gonna rock tonight Tweet, tweet, tweet dee I think that's good That's not good. good Hey look, we got the front seat Anyway, next diner Toast. It's a track at the yeah, fifth, right. and so at the fifth and Godfrey roof. Fifth and Godfrey. And this is a diversion diner with Jeremy. I'm Jackson, and that's Miles. Although if you don't know that by watching this video, if, if you're at this point, you don't know who we are. That's a problem. Are we gonna get the 47? Yeah, let's get this 47. I so I okay. need to finish my soda, or I'll be a weirdo on a separate bus and then open. Actually, it's not a weirdo. It's a completely <laughs> that normal. normal. <laughs> There's apparently a stop right here. That's it's the loop. Like, it should be like 75 <laughs> feet apart. That's insane. We've only been going for a little bit. We're already pretty. We're only like five minutes into the loop. Yeah. Yeah. This is Septa's busiest route. Bit of a change of plan. We're trying to get the 75 in the trackless yeah, trolley. There's one in zero minutes, so we're hoping we can get it. Where would it be? Oh, it's gonna be over there. All right, let's do it. Okay. Let's go, do it. go, 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 go. All right. It should be coming down this way. Yeah, it should be. All right, so it's not here yet. Okay. Okay. It's trackless, yeah! And now we've ridden all three trackless oh, trolleys wait, in, this, in video. this video. Yes! 100% completion. Yes! So, Miles, the last time you and I were together was in Boston to say farewell to the MBTA, MBTA trackless trolley. So, meanwhile, Septa over here, you know, the worst of all agencies, we're on a trackless trolley, <laughs> right? Listen to it. It's, it's singing. It's possibly coming. It sounds incredible. I'm only taking the 75 on a rush hour, like when it's stuck so oh, well, track slow. Away. This, this is, is a Sunday. We are flying. Oh, like that breaking sound? It's so oh. good. There goes perfection. What is this road? This is a stroke. This is awful. Whitaker Ave. What the heck oh, is a Whitaker Ave, Jackson? Oh, look, let's go drop some mail off. Are those people parked in the middle of the street? Is that the Philadelphia? That's like, Philadelphia I median parking. You get yeah. to witness it. <laughs> Welcome to weird industrial land, so Philadelphia. So apparently today is three dollar day. At, at wow, I'm not sure <laughs> what this is. Also, cheer van. Oh. <laughs> What is Philadelphia? <laughs> oh. Jackson, you can buy it. Oh. 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 That's a diner. So this is a early 1970s Fodero. I can tell it's early 1970s. Well, yeah, yeah exactly. right. This was originally the Golden Sword Diner when it opened. And then it was a nightclub called Casa de España. Not a Ibiza restaurant and social club, but Casa de España. <laughs> Do you want to buy a graffiti diner? It, on Whitaker um, Avenue in bustling... Great neighborhood. Right next to Wow Liquidation. Oh, geez, the stairs are crumbling. Time for an inside shot. <laughs> oh. Wait, someone took out the one. Oh, that's funny. Oh, We got some Spanish-style oh, terracotta you get, tile. You have to get the... <laughs> You're gonna um, make this thing fall down. Jack. Yeah. Wait, there's a window that's not boarded up. I can sort of see in there, in the camera. It just looks so weird. Besides there's... Anna's Pizza and Overbrook, this might be the sketchiest locale we've ever I think, I think so. Was, you know what my question is? Who wants to go clubbing at 4210 Whitaker Avenue? Jackson has made a okay. discovery. That's a remnant of when this diner was a diner. Wow. So, with that discovery <laughs> having been made, it's time for the 
Next, Next diner. diner! Oh, there goes the L. Homer shot. Okay, so since the universe apparently has doomed us to continue working on this diner video <laughs> until we are six feet underground, I was Googling the Casa de España nightclub, and we figured out that in the three weeks since we visited <laughs> with Jeremy, it is apparently reopened as La Nueva Casa de España. Have to see what's La Nueva about. <laughs> I mean, we'll get to see the inside now, so. Are they under Nueva management? That was her joke. I, Thank I you. saw that. Thank <laughs> you. Hey, what route are we waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for the 56, which was once a trolley, as you can see it's by these sad tracks, but it will just be an articulated bus, but a bus nonetheless. Apparently, the world's against us because it's not articulated. It's 40 feet. Going to Baker's Centra. Now we're passing O Street. And uh, this is a picture of a 56 trolley passing a diner that used to be there. Now we're in a 56 bus passing what is not a diner. Is this us? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna get hit here and die. Are we sure this place is open? Are we sure? Did we trek up here we, for no reason? We, um, all right. We're looking at Google Maps live. This place is open. It's got the green tax. It closes 3 a.m. It's still for lease. Who the heck updated it? Oh, look at that exit sign. It's like That's horizontal. Kind of okay, may I also present the opinion? Who the f goes night clubbing up here. On a road next to a gas station in the middle of nowhere, not anywhere near any other club. So if you get any momentum going, you'd have to get into a car and drive somewhere, which the last time I checked is not anything approaching a sustainable model for night clubbing because when you're night clubbing, you're drinking. It's just a recipe for disaster in all forms. Forget it, Marge. Chinatown. It's Time for the next diner. Nice oh. Dots. No, next car, next car, next car. Where are we taking this train to? We're taking this train to Frankfurt Transit Center. A ride we've done so many times, so see you at Frankfurt. <laughs> We're looking at this map to find the 88. It stops in a unique spot way over yeah. here. 88 to Willits Crispin? Jack, the wayfinding strikes again! The driver said we're going to Frankfurt Gray, which is, I think, when it's supposed to be side floor. Yeah, I don't really know. These are those Philadelphia suburbs where they have the secondary streets behind so that people yeah. can park their cars. He's developed a little bit later than my South Philly. We just hit Cotman, the other person got off, and we, I think, have the bus to ourselves. We are now in a district that's full of single family homes and twins. It this is feels like the suburbs. Where are we? We're in the midst of this inexplicable roundabout where the road runs through the middle and we go around and there are lights. We just made the discovery that this massive road is kind of like Roosevelt Boulevard yeah. in miniature. Which is not a compliment. What is this? I got a feeling in my bones. We're deviating again. The shoppies at Penny Pack the Woods. These trackless trolley wires mean that we are now in Frankfurt and we are very close to our diner. What street are we looking for to get off at? Marmagee? Magargi! Magargi! And that's how you get to Frankfurt and Magargi. Magargi! In the least efficient way. We could yeah. have taken the 66, but we're trying to give you transit intrigue. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Ma, 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 Magargi! Trolley bus! Ow! <laughs> the dining car. This is what's weird because it's trying to be old, like there's some neon, it's like got some stainless steel going on. The operative word being uh, trying. Yeah. This was manufactured in 1981 by this company called Swingle, okay. which we haven't seen before in the video, so you know, hey. Um, what town? Censor this word. <laughs> Middlesex, New Jersey. So this is a postmodern diner. It was manufactured like in the 80s after like this style of diners, you know, chrome, stainless steel, neon, etc. kind of went out. But this was at the beginning of when like old 40s and 50s diners were started to be seen as cool again. So this is kind of one of the earliest diners that kind of emulates that in uh -huh. a different era. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot.
I ordered a French toast, which is called fancy French toast. I'm interested to see what fancy means in this context. And I got two eggs, which came with a side of potato pancakes, which we've never seen on the menu before. Miles, are you getting an interior shot? Just did, buddy. Oh heck yeah. I am so excited to dig into these potato pancakes. This place is very down home in that it comes with like the generic department store pitcher full of syrup. That's like how you know the syrup's gonna be good. No smuckers here. There's been a lot of smuckers recently. Miles is in the bathroom, so I'm gonna take this chance to say Taylor Swift is amazing. <laughs> Well, that was actually a really good diner experience. I think that might have been the best French toast, probably besides the Ace, because that was pretty unbeatable. Yeah, but right. among the best French toast I've had on this expedition. The food was really good. Those Very potato good. pancakes were scrumptious. You called them a dream. Transit accessibility. It's only one frequent route, but it's the 66, so it's a trackless trolley. That's, right, that's pretty to some extent bonus um, points. Other routes, obviously, there's the 88 here, which is hourly. And the 70 goes kind of close, but it's on this weird extension that's also hourly. Our Architecture. So this is a nostalgia diner. It's an 80s imitation of the 40s. So it's not the best thing, but it's also not one of those heinous renovations. And it looks good. Like the inside is yeah. nice. It's, it's really neat. It feels inside. like a diner to yeah. some extent. The service was great. We had yeah, this um, really nice. waitress named uh, Julie. Julie. Yeah, so we decided to rate this diner a nine out of ten. A trolley bus to take us home. I like oh, how it says on, Zepta. We're getting on the Zepta. Hey, look, it's nominally a diner. Jackson. Why the heck are we getting off? We're getting off because, as you'll be able to read on this railroad bridge, after the trolley bus passes, this bridge that's behind us is the oldest surviving roadway bridge in America. This was built in 1697. Yeah, so it's been modified, but like part of this is 1697. That was a perfectly timed little excursion. Yeah. Like trolley bus going over the oldest roadway bridge in America. That looks so cool. Look at that ice cream stand. It's in the shape of a holy moly. We're back at Frankfurt. You yeah. don't need to see the market Frankfurt line back. Jackson, are you ready for the next diner? Next Albatross. Actually. <laughs> so uh, we're actually gonna get some modal diversity. Yes. Because we've video. taken the L from Frankfurt so many times, why not take the five? For a half hourly route, there's a decent amount of people waiting for the five. I wonder if that means the SEPTA should increase the frequency on this route. What That's often think? the case. This, this is a this cool is some shot. Serendipitous transit capturing. There goes the yell. Turning on to Kensington, but we stay on Frankfurt. We are negotiating around some double parkers. Truly, it takes a lot of skill to be a septic driver. Part of that is situational, and part of that is because Philadelphians are fundamentally, to their core, not amazing drivers. I'm sorry, is this a roundabout in my urban Philadelphia? In my good urban neighborhood? This That's is, this is crazy. At <laughs> that was wacky. I think we're in Fishtown. Jackson, what is this highway doing on my second street? Second street? Thank you. Thank you. Now I think it's time yeah. for the <laughs> next, next diner. See which eerie we're digging the most. Jackson! Let's try to get this 44. I mean, it's stuck in so much traffic, we're actually probably okay. Whoa, nice hat. Hey, oh, thank you. Mate. Also, this 44 is not tracking as a glad one, but it's signed as a glad one. I don't know why, but that's fine. Hi. Okay, we're on the 44 to Gladwin, which for some reason on the transit app is crossed out. That's actually bad for us because it goes slightly not as far as we want to go, but it's also cool because this trip only yeah. runs a couple times a day. This is the final one. We're going to a diversion diner first, and then exactly it's very close to the final diner. Wow, it's been a long, strange trip, hasn't it? It has. We're getting some speed now on the Schuylkill Expressway. This highway has been obsolete since the day it opened in 1959. Zero out of 38 and 65. There are two people left going to Gladwin, which I think explains why it only runs a couple times a day. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The street sucks. <laughs> Jay walking across, across the street. The street. <laughs> We're at St. Joe's University. You think of a Route 1 on a system, it's gonna be a powerhouse. Like the MBTA Route 1, straight down Mass Ave, powerhouse. Exactly. The MTA Route 1, just like a straight up north-south. Oh yeah, the subway line one. But SEPTA's Route no, 1, no, no, no. it is a insanely long, I get the long part right, 
It's hourly. It has random limited stop portions, but some parts are entirely local. And it will eventually... expect anyone to use this thing <laughs> if you don't have the app. Like, this just says Parks Casino, but it can go to a number of other destinations. Yeah, right. And via a number of other destinations. We're taking Route <laughs> 1 to the, I believe, the furthest diner on this whole list. Because it goes to the far northeast from here. This Apparently. definitely wasn't the most efficient way to go, but the 1 is interesting. Yeah, but it'll be fun. We're going to be on this bus for 80 minutes. Wow. By the way... It's 5.32. This is the last trip on the one that does the full thing. Final one of the day approaches. It's uh, quite late, but yeah. that's okay. It's like five minutes late. The one is officially better than the 44. We are crossing the Schuylkill. Oh, there's the false bridge. Oh. Wait, look at that. Ooh, it's really foggy. It does not capture well on this. With the Hicken Transfer Center featuring some on. Foggy. <laughs> Miles is doing it for an hourly bus. This is a pretty busy segment. For an hourly bus, this is pretty busy. Is this a graveyard or is this a high school like sports park? This is an apocalyptic park, but more important. With that, we are entering Roosevelt Boulevard. The worst street in Philadelphia. It runs for the next like 40 minutes. Okay, all right, let's do it. Track this trolley wires. Oh. I understand now why the driver left late. They pad this route. We're two minutes early now. Look at these row houses. They're so nice, and they're put on just the most scourge of a road possible. This is Pratt Street. The R turns down there. It's a very, very brief moment where it doesn't parallel other routes. Like three minutes later, we're at Bustleton. We now join up with the 14. We're double stuff again. Roosevelt Boulevard is so terrible that the front doors for these buildings are on the sides of them rather than actually facing the street that yeah, they're on. Basketball. What is it? Oh, that is a big basketball. And a man or a bear or something. We're getting far enough out that our cross streets are roads. Yes, it's not Welsh Street. <laughs> it's Welsh Road. Roosevelt Boulevard remains the worst street ever. Ah, there's nothing here. It's just woods right now. This is officially within the Philadelphia city limits, which just kind of goes to show you how like pointless city limits are. Thank you. A long ride, I can't feel my legs. This is awful. This is a death right. wish in action. Uh, red light, I mean, I guess, or will that turn light? I don't know, we'll just go for okay. it. <laughs> oh, walk side! <laughs> Across the road. The apocalyptic suburban nightmare hellscape highway. This is can I reiterate, this is the worst street ever. Jackson, is that an old diner that was already ugly when it was built, now transformed into an even uglier used car lot? It heckin' is, and you just encapsulated it perfectly. So when it was built, this is a 1985 Coleman. It kind of looked like an office park when it was built. It was originally called the Ritz Diner. It was most recently the uh, Five Star Diner. Now it's just a used car lot, and you can't really even see it from this angle because there's so many cars, but honestly, it's no big loss. This might also be a new car lot. We're not really sure. I mean, they're cars, who cares? Did they just paste over their thing over the original diner sign? Yeah, it looks about right. We're now heading about seven minutes on the 14 to Tiffany's on the Boulevard. Miles in <laughs> Which is the last <laughs> diner in this video and it's a real diner, thankfully. Articulated buses are so beautiful. I know. Hey, is that Tiffany on the BLVD or Bulvud for short? This is a late 1980s Darafoli brand diner, which was manufactured in New Rochelle, New York. This happens to be a restaurant that was factory manufactured, but Besides that, like, it's just a restaurant, you know? They also don't advertise themselves in a diner. Do we yeah. know that there's diner food here? I think we're just gonna have to see. This is a restaurant. It's a fully fledged restaurant. Oh. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. Menu shot, menu shot. <laughs> right now you're looking at the menu shot. Oh, they have cocktails here. Wow, this is that's the kind of diner we're dealing with. If you've watched this entire series, you probably recognize these menus by now. However, there is no diner food here. So we'll have to be adventurous with what we choose to eat. We can get whatever we want. Our pastas come with soup. Yeah, does your pasta come with soup? Roosevelt Boulevard. Hey Miles, do you like the Roosevelt Boulevard? No. 
Jackson, that's not scrambled eggs. No, for reasons that we already explained. Miles has informed me that he is apparently, quote, terrible at eating spaghetti, so let's, let's watch. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay, I got an easy, oh, well, here we go. Oh, oh. So we got a yeah. Crap. Oh my god. No, it's getting, it's unraveling, it's unraveling, I gotta go quick. You gotta do like the taco thing where you, yeah! Wait, what are we rating this place? We can't rate it yet, Jackson. Oh wait, we're not rating it. It turns out that what happens is like you have to like just walk in and kind of be like, Psst, you got the breakfast menu. <laughs> but they will serve you breakfast like yeah. the entire time they're open. But um, what this means is that we are not going to score right now. We're gonna come back okay. and we're gonna then get our calling card breakfast and review it properly. Cause this is the last time we can't skimp out on this. But for what it's worth, the dinner was really good. The dinner was really good, it was really filling. And our server, Sophia, was an absolutely Fantastic. delightful, amazing person. <laughs> so we'll be back right now. No snapping this time. And I said, what about the breakfast at Tiffany's? She said, I think I remember the film and the girls out of all. I think we both kind of loved it. And I said, well, that's the one thing we got. <laughs> But Jackson, we haven't had breakfast at Tiffany's yet. Oh, I guess we need to go back there to get breakfast All at right. Tiffany's. This diner? Breakfast at Tiffany's. Miles in oh, oh, thank you. So we're here in the last segment of this video. We made it. We brought a bunch of people who have been in the video before. You recognize all these people because you've seen them all before. <laughs> You would never know that I just ran out and got the- Why? This exit is closed. After 9 p.m. It says main terminal. It also says please use this exit. This is like the one you're supposed to take. Does this look disability friendly? No. No, it's not. Because it's not a seat. You can't sit on it. I mean, you can. It, with a lot of effort. Adventure. Our longest possible trip on a metro park. Nope. <laughs> hey, welcome to the single worst street in the entire city of Philadelphia. No, what? No, no, no. The I Roosevelt think... Boulevard. No, I actually think it's the worst street in America. As someone who grew up here, I was banned from being on this street. Three out of the top five most dangerous intersections in the entire country are on this street. <laughs> You're not making any friends here. It's a big basketball and a car and the Barbara Bear. Hi, this is Aaron from the Country Club segment. I don't know if you remember me. I had to run an errand, so I'm like half an hour behind everyone else. And I am currently waiting for the L at 15th. Helen, push the stop request. I did it already. Jeremy! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is awful. Oh, wow. wow. It's the city of Philadelphia, just like I pictured it. So you can't make reservations at Tiffany's, and we have 10 people coming, so I don't know. They only give you like 45 oh seconds God, across this massive right? street. <laughs> this is awful. We actually have to sprint. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Or rather, it's a sprint, not a marathon. What's this sidewalk? Oh, Tesla's gonna run everyone over. It's a, the green light, we can go. Captain Slug, I am now at Frankfurt waiting for the 14. Uh, didn't film on the train because it was crowded enough that I got self-conscious. Helen, what are your thoughts on this sidewalk? Is this even a sidewalk? Like, look, 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 I don't look really know if you can call it one. Hi, I'm Jackson and my deepest, darkest fear is Roosevelt Boulevard. Hi, I'm Alexis and I also don't like Roosevelt Boulevard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mo. I also hate Roosevelt Boulevard. <laughs> hey, I'm Ash. I don't like mannequins. <laughs> I'm Jeremy, and I also hate Roosevelt Boulevard. <laughs> I'm Caitlin, and I hate Roosevelt. Wait, oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm Alina, and I hate Roosevelt Boulevard. I'm Helen, and I guess I also hate Roosevelt Boulevard and mannequins. <laughs> I'm Miles. I hate Roosevelt Boulevard. <laughs> Parties must be complete to be seated, oh. says the sign. We have another one coming. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
basketball ball. Perfect. Oh, thank you. It's a good thing we're doing this final segment in like an yeah. 80s diner, so there's actually room for everyone. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. Aaron says, here I come, which means that every second, Aaron is getting closer. Friendship Street, that's not inspirational, then I don't know what is. Yeah. Food shot, I got French toast. Rachel. <laughs> A Southwest burger. BLT. The chicken wrap. Also this. Also French toast. Oh, okay. Pasta. Scrambled eggs. Also French toast. Whoa. I need to lament that's here that Jeremy got Far more French toast. Like my than volume. I did. We both got yeah. two pieces, but That's Maya's impressive. got like a little whippy piece. Yeah. Two Very pieces. big pieces. Meanwhile, on that side of the table, everyone is comparing weird injuries. <laughs> I have a lot of them. This is the destination right there. Across this whole street for Miles. <laughs> uh, catch. <laughs> nice catch, Miles. Is it, is it, Jack, can I have some butter? Hey, Miles. Yeah. Catch. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Save, save. Here we are. Hope you enjoyed my little side adventure. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, even though this is the middle of the video. So, take care. No! <laughs> what, what is, was it the bread? The, the uh, butter and the spoon. Oh, sad. And the spoon. Miles is like falling apart. They just brought the Got it! <laughs> nice catch, Miles! I didn't know it was. We, well, we have a, a butter disaster yeah. going on. That's, that's <laughs> butter. Uh, I didn't know it could even happen. Miles over here just got buttered. No. You just got no, buttered. Possible. You just got buttered. <laughs> Okay, this hold one, on. This one's real. All right. This one. All right, you got your food. What is it? It's a turkey All right, who's putting up. this on their credit card, Miles? Best of three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Hey. One me. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh my god. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, all right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Wait, alright, so I it's think I Alright! Here he goes up there to pay for the meal. A proud dad providing for his family. Alright, we've just come out of Tiffany on the Boulevard. Transit accessibility. There are a lot of routes on the Roosevelt Boulevard! I mean, it's basically two frequent routes to Frankfurt and the 88, which doesn't matter, so it's okay. Aesthetics. Really nice cool. inside. It's the nice. bathroom was palatial. We walked in a group of 10 ass people without yeah. making a reservation and they seated us. Yeah. How cool is That's that? impressive. The service was really good. Like the fact that they let us all in is huge. I know. I think that they didn't even make us wait. Nice. We waited 20 seconds. Yeah. Like, How are the foods? It was good. Good. The I like the French toast. Amazing. Yeah. Some of the awesome. meats were a bit dry, but it was good. Yeah, it, yeah it mine filled was me dry. up. It was fine. Yeah. Mm. French toast was good. The French toast was really good. Yeah. Scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs were good. I'm gonna go around and you all say what you want to score it. Ash. Nine. Lex. Eight. Mo. Eight. Caitlin. Eight. Kellen. Seven. Aaron. Seven. Elena. Seven. Ja eight. Jeremy. Miles and Jackson are the only ones that matter and we give it an eight, eight out of ten. ten. <laughs> Last cool. diner. Three, two, one. Snap. All right, you've been watching Miles and Transit Diner content for over two hours. It's time for the madness to end. We're gonna bring the video home with a heartwarming moment and original beat. It goes something like this. <laughs> Have you ever met a girl that you tried to date, but a year to make love, she wanted you to wait? Let me tell you a story of my situation. I was talking to a girl from the US nation. The way that I met her was on tour at a concert. She had long hair and a short mini skirt. I just got on stage dripping foreign with sweat. I was walking through the crowd, and guess who I met? I whispered in the ear, come to the photo booth, so I could ask you some questions and see if you're 100 proof. I asked her name, she said, blah, blah, blah. She has nice damn fans and a very big bra. I took a couple of flicks and she was enthused. I said, how do you like the show? She said, I was very amused. I started throwing bass, she started throwing back mid-range, but when I turned to question, she acted kind of strange. Then when I asked, do you have a man? She tried to pretend, she said, no, I don't. I only have a friend. Come on! Don't even give me that! This is what I'm gonna say, you! You got what I need! 
And you say, say he's just a friend. <laughs> and you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. You got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. And you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. You got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. And you say he's just a friend. <laughs> yeah! I guess it. One, two. I am sitting in the morning at the diner on the corner. I am waiting at the counter for the man to pour the coffee. And he fills it only halfway, and before I even argue, he is looking out the window at somebody coming in.